On the pond, Niner Heavy, Adis is Alpha. Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about the electrical AC generators in an Airbus A320. We will discuss about engine generators, APU generator, generator control unit or GCU, line contactors, generator 1 and 2 push button switches, IDG 1 and 2 push button switches, APU generator push button switch and ECAM indications. Now, let's start with it. The electrical system is normally powered by two engine-driven, integrated drive generators or IDGs. The generator is driven at a constant speed by the integrated drive to supply the electrical system with up to 90 kVA of power at 115 and 200 volts with a frequency of 400 Hz. The 115 volts supply is used to power normal electrical components, with 200 volts supplying higher load components, such as hydraulic pumps. The engine generators have priority over all other electrical sources and cannot be connected in parallel. A third generator driven directly by the APU without an integrated drive produces the same power as each engine-driven generator. The APU generator can replace either or both engine-driven generators at any time in flight or on the ground. The APU generator is normally used on the ground when ground power is not available and the engines are not running. Each generator has an associated generator control unit, or GCU. The function of the GCU is to control the generator voltage and frequency output, to control the generator priority, to protect the generator in the electrical network, and to supply indications and warnings. The GCU controls the connection of the generator to the electrical system by the generator line contactor, or GLC. Line contactors are used to connect and disconnect various power sources to the electrical system and are controlled by the generator control unit. The ECAM ELEC page displays the line contactors by green lines when they are closed. The green line is not displayed when it is open. The generator 1 and generator 2 push button switches located on the overhead ELEC control panel control the engine-driven generators, their respective generator control units, and generator line contactors. When the generator push button switch is in its normal, on, lights out position, the generator will be energized, and if the generator electrical output is within limits, the generator line contactor will close. With the generator push button switch selected to the off position, the generator field is de-energized and the generator line contactor opens. Anytime a generator push button switch is selected off, the fault circuit is reset. The generator 1 or generator 2 push button switch will indicate fault if its associated generator control unit detects a fault within the generator, thus opening the generator line contactor, or if the generator line contactor opens when the generator push button switch is in the on position. When the generator 1 or generator 2 push button switch is on, the ECAM ELEC page displays generator 1 or generator 2 in white changing to amber if generator load, voltage, or frequency are outside set limits. The indication for load, voltage, and frequency are normally green when within limits, changing to amber if its limit is exceeded. When the generator push button switch is selected off, the generator parameters are replaced with a white off and generator is displayed in amber. The number 1 or 2 will be displayed in white if the engine is running, and amber if shut down. When an IDG malfunctions, it can be disconnected from the engine through the use of its respective IDG push button switch on the ELEC panel. The guarded IDG1 and IDG2 push button switches will indicate fault, and an ECAM caution is generated if the IDG outlet oil overheats or IDG oil pressure is low. The low oil pressure warning is inhibited when engine N2 is low to prevent nuisance warnings. The spring-loaded IDG push button switch will disconnect the respective IDG from its drive shaft when pressed momentarily and should not be held for longer than 3 seconds to prevent damage to the disconnect mechanism. 
Maintenance personnel only can reconnect the IDG. Caution. Maintaining the IDG push button switch during more than 3 seconds may damage the IDG disconnection mechanism. Disconnect the IDG only when the engine is running or windmilling. If not, the IDG will be damaged when starting the engine. The Cam Elect page displays the label IDG normally in white, changing to amber, if the IDG outlet oil temperature exceeds 180 degrees centigrade, the IDG is disconnected, or IDG oil pressure is low. The IDG oil temperature is normally green, will change to amber if the IDG outlet oil is above 180 degrees centigrade. Disc is displayed in amber, if the IDG is disconnected, and low pressure is displayed in amber, if IDG oil pressure is low. The one or two legend is white, if the associated engine is running, and amber if it is not when the FADEC is powered. With the APU generator push button switch in its normal on, lights out position, the generator is energized, and the generator line contactor will close, if the generator parameters are normal, and external power is not selected on. The APU will not supply an electrical system that is powered by an engine-driven generator, as they have priority over the APU generator. Selecting the APU generator push button switch to off will de-energize the generator and open the generator line contactor. The fault circuit is reset any time the push button switch is selected off. The APU generator push button switch will indicate fault when the APU generator control unit detects a fault or if the APU generator line contactor opens, except when the APU generator push button switch is selected off. The APU fault light is inhibited whenever the APU speed is low or if the APU generator line contactor opens when a power source with a higher priority is connected, such as external power or an engine-driven generator. The ECAM ELEC page will display the label APU generator in white when the APU master switch is off. With the APU master switch selected on and the APU generator push button switch selected off, the label APU generator will appear in amber and off will appear in white. When the APU is running normally and the APU generator push button switch is on, the ECAM ELEC page will display APU generator in white, changing to amber, if APU generator load, voltage, or frequency are outside set limits. The indications for load, voltage, and frequency are normally green when within limits, changing to amber, if its limit is exceeded. Thank you for watching, remember a good pilot is always learning, signing off. Los Angeles International, fly runway heading, Kennedy 1.5 BME, right turn 100, and at file, climb 5000, expect 30010, Miss Aptus, buck 3343. United 703, ADIS is Alpha, contact ground when you're ready to take. Thank you very much, United 703.